what's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a cool video, um, basically addressing all the mods I put into my car. These are all mostly aesthetic mods, I didn't put any engine mods yet, mainly because I, I feel like doing an engine swap. Not really sure where my life's taking me, where my you know channel's taking me, if I'm going to be financially able to afford that. But uh, if I am, it's probably going to be an N54 swap. If not, uh, I'm probably gonna try to go with an M3, but we'll see again budget-wise. And uh, if it's, po I mean, I know it's possible. Will it be a lot of money? Yes. Will it be cheaper to buy another uh, car? Probably yes. But I mean, um, I want to basically turn my favorite car into my dream car. So uh, that's what that's gonna be about. But to get back to the topic of this video, we are gonna be addressing every single mod and how much it cost me to do all these mods to my car. So first off, guys, before I actually tell you the prices of everything I put into the car, um, this is a big number for you people who are not car enthusiasts. I know there's a lot of fan members who watch my videos and uh, a lot of people who don't really uh, approve of what I do to my car. But I mean, this is basically a, a learning experience for me and I want to basically teach others the things that I'm learning. Uh, this is my first, my first main car, really, so I kind of want to, you know, uh, I want to work on everything possible. I want to know the car from top to bottom. I want to know everything about it. So all these mods I'm doing to it is a learning experience for me. So this money um, is probably not going to come back to me in the future. But uh, it's basically how I like to see it is, um, you know, it's a building block of my future. I mean, I, I basically, but when I look at this, it's basically my work. And you guys can see, you know, how devoted I was to this project. So, to start off the list, the M3 bumper and the M3 lip. So, uh, so the M3 bumper cost me roughly around $300. This was from China. And since it was a China bumper, I had to get an M3 lip that was like compatible with the China bumpers because the M3 bumper was not 100% like OEM. So, the regular M3 lips that I have don't fit that bumper. So, that's why I had to get a new M3 carbon fiber lip, which, which looks absolutely insane. Uh, but that lip as well cost me $300. So for the total front end for the bumper and the lip is about $600 for that. The gloss grills on the front end was another $50. Now this next one, I don't know if it's considered a mod, but I mean, I, the rims are consideredly a mod. The center caps did come off of it, so it is kind of ugly at the moment. But I mean, uh, the rims and the tires together was around $1,200. I don't know if you guys would consider, you know, tires as a, considerably a mod, but I mean, I bought it with the rims all together, so, you know, it was an expense that I had to pay all at once. Now, a pretty big one is the interior. I, as you guys um, probably have seen my channel, if you guys have stayed with me for a very long time, I swapped out my interior from black interior to brown, saddle, saddle brown interior, which looks absolutely insane. Their sport seats, their winter package are just absolutely crazy looking seats. Very, very comfortable. Um, it was honestly the best thousand I spent on this car. But uh, yeah, it was a big chunk of money that I had to put into it. One of my most favorite mods, and I have no regrets ever doing this, is, I mean, it's not like I regret with anything I've done, but this one is just like my favorite mod I've done to my car, which is my steering wheel. I installed an M steering wheel with an M, air, well, pretty much the sports airbag. If you guys didn't know, I had a regular steering wheel and a regular airbag. I don't think I made a video on this, but I mean, my, uh, my steering wheel and my airbag were the, were the regular stock ones. It wasn't a sports model, so it was like that big, chunky... Yes, yeah, you guys can clearly tell my cousin's coming right now. So yeah, guys, the M3 steering wheel and the airbag was roughly on $500. Um, again, no regrets, my favorite mod to the car. Um, I added the carbon fiber spoiler, uh, which was roughly around $150. That was from eBay as well. So for the rear bumper, I didn't get the... The rear bumper is OEM from a 2011 BMW E90 and up. Uh, so I did get it from a junkyard for around $70. It was a steal. Um, those bumpers are roughly around $400 because of the M-Tech bumpers. So I got the bumper for $70 and uh, the diffuser cost me more. What a joke. It cost me $250 for the diffuser and that wasn't even carbon fiber. The carbon fiber ones were like three dollars to $400. Um, so I just got it for $250 because I was like, why am I getting a $500 diffuser on a $70 bumper? It just didn't make any sense to me at the time. And then um, basically when I got this new bumper and this new uh, diffuser, I wanted to split up my exhaust. It's like the, the, basically the goal for this car. I really, really wanted my exhaust to be dual tips on both sides. So I went down to Muffler Tech and I remapped my exhaust. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, it'll be down in the description. Um, but basically I remapped my exhaust to make it dual. Uh, I bought blue tips on both sides and basically I retrofitted it. It looks pretty cool. It sounds pretty good. 
Uh, but I do have much more plans for my exhaust. That exhaust setup cost me roughly on $700 for a muffler delete, which is kind of absurd, but again, they remapped my entire exhaust and made it fit with the new bumper. And the last big thing is my wrap. The wrap roughly cost me around $900, but I'm gonna say $800, maybe because I messed up a few times, and I wanna consider that as a factor. But I mean, so basically I spent $800 on the wrap to wrap my car, Alright guys, so for the total cost that I put into my car was $5,320. That's probably not including, you know, the tax and everything for all the stuff I got, but roughly let's just say $5,500. It's actually not as bad as I thought. I thought I put in like six or seven. <laughs> but I mean, $5,000 is a good chunk of money that I put into this car so far. Um, again, no regrets. I love how my car turned out. I still haven't taken it down to a car meet, which is kind of crazy. With all these things I've done in my car, I still haven't taken it down to a car meet. Uh, I've been thinking about making my own car meets, uh, mostly like Euro or you know people from my YouTube channel to come check it out and you know all together make a cool community. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comments. So if you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button. I will see you guys in the next one. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your door down, girl. We know you ain't easy, you know. You're all